likewise, the one that uh, did field operations, and uh, it's a very rewarding area to pursue a career. Uh, unfortunately, we probably haven't done as good a job as an industry educating people with regard to what we do, how we do it, how safe it is, and the fact that we are good stewards of the environment. We live in the environment that we work in. Uh, we try to protect that environment. We hunt and fish in it. We uh, drink the water, etc. Uh, but it is uh, an important resource to our state. Uh, we, we appreciate uh, the acknowledgement uh, that today is oil and gas day uh, throughout New Mexico. Uh, we hope that uh, in the future we'll do a better job as an industry educating people with regard to what we do and how we do it. You know, I'm always telling people uh, and explaining uh, the technology behind hydraulic fracturing. You know, I'm probably the only member of the legislature that's actually done a hydraulic fracture treatment and stimulation on a well. And I've done many, many of them. And what we do is very safe, it's very responsible, in no way contaminates uh, the groundwater or other resources in the state of New Mexico. But we have to help explain that technology to people that don't come in contact with it on a day-to-day -day basis. And we're going to try to do a better job doing that so that people will become educated with regard to what it is that we do and how we do it, how safe it is, but how critically important it is to our country to provide cheap and affordable energy uh, for our citizens uh, to enjoy uh, the life that we have in this country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, thank you, gentlemen. And I just wanted to say, that, and uh, gentlemen, to leave, you and I visited about this. I took my first trip down there for the purpose of just seeing the oil and gas industry. I uh, have been down in the hall before to see the corrections. Uh,